Come on, run, run. I think, I think we're safe. You sure? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? The last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is a low. You don't say. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. It was, I swear. Swearing doesn't make something so. No, 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 no. I'm telling you the truth. Please. Believe me, come on. Hmm, all right. Let's see. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... 
Ah, oh, shit. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. No, you don't say, huh? Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have a look first. I just want to fix my arm to stop the bleeding. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to find help. But if you let me go, I promise you'll never see me again. And where exactly would you go? To find help somewhere else if I can. I'm no doctor or nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm good with whatever you decide. But maybe we should be sure before we go off and do something crazy. I'm just saying. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
Why are we doing this? It's fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, it's safer. Uh, I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Oh, look, a hammer. Ouch! Wait, didn't I take the hammer? Whoops. That worked. <coughs> we have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. No, you don't say, huh? All right.
So where are we now? House meeting in five minutes. Best. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Oh, fine. And there... Oh! Look at that. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying we wouldn't look for Clean. I'll still need some bandages and something to keep it from getting infected. That man sometimes. Oh boy, now what? Um This baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his. Whew, wait a minute. Oh, Sarah! Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. 
I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. Come on. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. Oh. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it up and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be so old. Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Yeah, don't say it. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, I guess now we gotta go downstairs. Or maybe, wait, let's check it here. Where am I now? Uh. Why is it everything Not empty? Exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Nothing in here. Okay, let's go down now. Let's hear what they're saying again. You brought her back here, not me. You knew she was What were we supposed to do? Not leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same thing. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, a fire in your rocks or what?
Wait, I got everything? Really? <sighs> this is gonna suck. I don't say. I just wish it was better. Ah, crap, let's do this. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Really? Now the fun part. What fun part? Are you kidding me? showed me Jesus I don't think I'd have the balls to do this. Oh, good. Oh, God. Kids, don't watch this. Ouch! Oh, great. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, what the hell? Christ. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Now ah, you goddamn zombie. You still alive? Here, another one. Here, one. You still want one? Here you go. Holy shit. 
What the? Oh, now you came! Oh, you attack! How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. <laughs> so, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. Oh, gee, thanks, man. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Yeah, he didn't say. It's ugly. No, it ain't that bad. I mean, it's better than a stump. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Yeah, about that. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. 
Anyway, hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? Well, they'll just have to deal. Besides, it makes sense to let you heal and take some time to sort things out. At least for a little while. Yeah, I guess. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But. It didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. I was too young and too stupid to do anything right. He died because of me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, you're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. What's wrong with you? Come on. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. What a bitch.